Hi folks, Matt Easton here of Scholar Gladiatoria. So as many of my regular viewers will know, I'm these days I'm perhaps uh, slightly more associated with British military sabre. However, back in the day, uh, if we go back beyond about five years back in time, I was mostly known uh, for what I did with Fiore. Um, and mostly I taught Fiore and mostly I did longsword. Um, and it was about five years ago that I decided to focus a bit more on the, on the later military sabre stuff. Um, however, um, where I started out with Scholar Gladiatoria was focused entirely on Fiore and um, back in about 1999 to 2000, um, Eleonora Durban, a friend of mine, Italian friend and myself, worked on the, I believe, the first complete English translation um, uh, of Fiore de Libri's treatise called Fiore di Battaglia, Flower of Battle, um, but particularly the Getty version, the Getty Museum in uh, LA, of course, uh, own one of the four versions of Fiore's treatise. Uh, and we translated it, um, and we never got to a final draft, in fairness. We, we got to about the second or third draft for most of the treatise. I think we've got to about fourth draft on some bits of it, and only first draft on other bits, but on average about second or third draft. And um, essentially we never, we intended to put it into a book, but then other people did versions of the translation that fundamentally are relatively similar to ours. There are some differences, uh, Tom Leone, uh, The Exiles, various other people did their own translations of it. So we never really got around to doing anything with it. However, in subsequent time, a fantastic project called Wichtenau, um, led by Michael Chidester, uh, and I'll, I'll put a link to Wichton out below this video, of course, um, uh, decided to try and uh, collate and uh, bring together in one place uh, on a, uh, a wiki-based um, uh, kind of website uh, all of the kind of medieval and Renaissance treatises that were possible to get online, or at least even the ones where it wasn't possible to get the treatise pictures online because of copyright and other issues, at least put information about it. So essentially to try and concentrate as much of the scholarly data that we have on medieval and Renaissance treatises into one source. And it's a fantastic and very massive um, uh, work, and you can donate to supporting Wichita now because it's quite a costly, um, quite costly thing to run. Um, and uh, Michael came to me and asked if, uh, if I'd be willing to basically let our translation be hosted on the Wichita now site, which I was perfectly happy with. Um, subsequently to that, and relatively recently, a gentleman by the name of Tracy Mello, um, uh, also in the States, like Michael Chidester, has put together a big PDF of the um, original Getty images from the Getty version of the uh, Fior, Fior di Padalia uh, treatise with our translation. And this is the first time that someone has put this into a source that's available for everybody free online. So, to cut a long story short, if you want to download a PDF of Fiore's treatise with the translated English text and with the pictures in pretty nice resolution and colour, then you can now click on the link that is below this video and download it. And many thanks to essentially Michael Chidester for bringing Wickton out together and making the whole sort of project move forwards. Uh, Tracy Mello for creating the PDF, and of course to Eleonora and myself for doing most of the translation. Um, so uh, there we go guys, feel free to download it. If you want to show your thanks for all the hard work that's gone into producing this, then of course you can donate to Wiktonow uh, by going to the Wiktonow site and following the links there. Uh, or indeed if you want to show your appreciation to me, then you can buy one of our uh, either Fight Camp or Scholar Gladiatoria t-shirts which I'll also put the link to below and also don't forget to like our Scholar Gladiatoria Facebook page where I put up various random and sometimes interesting information. Cheers folks!